Good morning students, Saira. In today's math session, we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 10, Mensuration. Children, Mensuration is the branch of mathematics which deals with the measurement of dimensions like length, breadth, height or area of geometrical shapes or structures. So, let's see what is the first topic that we are going to learn in this chapter. Suppose you want to put a fence around your house. So how will you know how much fencing is needed? So you have to go around the boundary of the house, measure it and then you will know how much fencing is needed. Here comes the concept of perimeter. Let's see a few more examples to understand perimeter. Children, we have two figures here. If we start from point S in this triangle and we go around the boundary of the triangle this way and come back to S, okay, then this measurement of the three, three sides of this triangle gives the perimeter of the triangle. Similarly, if we uh, take this quadrilateral and start from point S again and if we want to know the perimeter then we will go around the figure like this and come back to S. Then we get the perimeter of this figure. So let's see what is perimeter. So perimeter is the distance covered along the boundary of a closed figure when we go around the figure once. Okay? So it is the distance covered along the boundary of a closed figure. Now, so how is it useful? Uh, the uh, idea of perimeter is widely used in daily life. Suppose a farmer wants to fence his field, then he has to uh, find the perimeter of the field. That means he has to go around the boundary of the field to know the perimeter. Okay, That means the uh, breadth or width of the field and then length of the field and then breadth or width and then length. These sides he has to measure together then he will get the perimeter. So this is the practical use of perimeter and then if we want to put uh, to frame a, a picture or, or a photo then we have to find the perimeter okay we have to measure the boundary of the frame or if we want to uh, color the corners the edges of a table or we have to tape put a tape around the uh, edges of the table then also to know the length we have to find the perimeter of the table. So, these are the examples. One more example, Mira want to, uh, went to a park which is 150 meter long okay, and 80 meter wide. She took one complete round around its boundary. What is the distance covered by her? So, this is the park Vira uh, has gone around and it is 150 meter long. The length is 150 meter and what is its width? It is 50, 80 meters. Okay, the breadth is 80 meter. Then uh, she took one complete round. So, what is the distance covered by her? What we have to do? We have to measure the uh, four sides of the park. So, it is 150 plus 80, 150 meter plus 80 meter plus 150 meter plus 80 meter. This gives the perimeter of the park. So, if we want to find the perimeter of this figure. So, this figure has length 40 centimeter and breadth 10 centimeter it is a rectangle. So, how do we find the perimeter that means it is the side length of side AB 
plus side this side then side BC side CD and then side AD or DA on addition of these uh, lengths of these sides we get the perimeter of the figure that means the perimeter is AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. Now we can put the measurement of these lengths like AB is 40 uh, centimeters so we can write 40 here likewise the length of all the sides you can put add them and then you will get the perimeter of the figure. Next we have a square here so in a square all the sides are equal so how do we find the perimeter we add side AB plus BC plus CD plus DA that means 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 and we get 20 centimeter as the perimeter isn't it this is how we find the perimeter of different shapes now here we have one more figure how do we find the perimeter of this we have to find the length of we can see that uh, length of AB is 1 centimeter then uh, length of side BC is 3 centimeter then CD is 3 centimeter then DE is 1 centimeter then EF 3 centimeter FG 3 centimeter GH 1 centimeter HI 3 centimeter IJ is 3 centimeter JK is 3 centimeter KL is 3 centimeter and LA is 3 centimeter when we add the lengths of all these sides we get the perimeter of this figure we have one more example here so to get the perimeter to find the perimeter of this figure what we do we add the length of the sides like side AB is 100 meter side plus side BC which is 120 meter then side CD which is 90 meter then the length of side uh, DE it is 45 meter then EF 60 meter and then FA is 80 meter then we add all the uh, the lengths of all these sides then we get the perimeter of this figure so children if we want to find the perimeter of this rectangle so how do we find it we know that the perimeter of this rectangle will be the sum of all its sides isn't it we add the lengths of all its sides and then we get its perimeter isn't it and uh, we can see that the length of this rectangle uh, this length of side uh, AB is L isn't it this one and length of a uh, breadth of the rectangle is B so again the length of uh, side CD will also be L and length of uh, the side DA will be B isn't it now how do we find the the perimeter of this rectangle we know that it is AB plus BC plus CD plus DA isn't it the sum of all the sides that means it is L plus B plus L plus B which means it is 2 times L and 2 times B isn't it so we can write it like 2 into L plus B so perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B or length plus breadth 2 into L uh, length plus breadth this is the formula which we uh, this is the formula which we apply to find the perimeter of a rectangle so let us find the perimeter of this rectangle whose length is 5 meters and the breadth is 2 meters. Let us see how we find the perimeter of this rectangle by using the formula that we have learnt. So we know that perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth is not it 2 into length plus breadth now we uh, put the measurement of length here and the measurement of breadth here so it becomes 2 into 5 meters plus 2 meters so it is 2 into 7 meters and so we get 
14 meters as the perimeter of this rectangle, isn't it? So, this is how we get the perimeter of rectangle. Now, let us look at one more example. Shabana wants to put a lace border all around a rectangular table cover which is 3 meters long and 2 meters wide. Now, find the length of the lace required by Shabana. So, what is the length of the rectangular table cover? It is 3 meters and what is its breadth? It is 2 meter. So, what will be the perimeter of this rectangular table cover? It will be 2 into length plus breadth. So, we put the measurement of length here that is 3 meters and what is the its breadth? It is 2 meter. So, it becomes 3 into uh, sorry 2 into 3 meters plus 2 meters. That means it is 2 into 5 meters which is equal to 10 meters. So, what is the perimeter of this rectangular table cover? It is 10 meters. So, what is the length of the lace required? It is 10 meters. So, this is how we solve this uh, the problems of this kind. Now, how do we find the perimeter of a square? Perimeter uh, of a square, we, uh, children we know that a square is a, a uh, regular uh, polygon with 4 equal sides. All the sides of a square are equal, is not it? Now, how do we find the perimeter of the square? Suppose we take a square which has all the sides as A, the length of all its sides is A. So, what will be its perimeter? The perimeter of the square will be sum of all its sides. That means the uh, side AB plus BC plus CD plus DA, isn't it? And if we take its length as A, then it will be A plus A plus A plus A. That means 4 times A. So, the perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side of the square. So, this is the formula which we use to find the perimeter of the square. It is 4 into side of a square. Now, let us consider this example. We have a square here of side 5 centimeter. Each side is of 5 centimeters is not it? So, how do we find its perimeter? We know that perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side, is not it? So, uh, we take 4 into 5 because 5 is this uh, 5 centimeter is the side each side of the square. So, we take it as 4 into 5. So, 4 into 5 becomes 20. So, it is 20 centimeters. So, the perimeter of square is 20 centimeters. So, this is how we solve the problems of this kind. Children, with this I end this session and we will learn more concepts of this chapter in our coming session. Thank you.